What's up guys, welcome to the R34 interior part 1 in which we do a few bits and pieces or a few upgrades to the R34 interior. Um, look, I've done this video over a few days because I wasn't sure if I was going to have enough time on the Saturday to be able to knock everything out. Um, so I've done some bits and pieces here and there. Um, so the first part, look, is of, it's just, it's real small stuff. I got this uh, from AliExpress. Um, I'm forever running out of room in the car. Uh, and this little mesh thing has some double-sided tape on the side, which I thought if we put it by the gear stick um, on the side here, basically I can store things. My wallets, um, I used to smoke. I would put my cigarettes there. Um, or just, yeah, even my work phone could go in there. Just anything just to keep small bits and pieces. You can even chuck change in there because the mesh is, is um, the holes aren't big enough that coins are going to fly up. So basically, I'm going to install this in here and show you guys what it looks like. Um, and as you can see, I've got my work phone and wallet sitting in there. And it just makes it a lot easier to get stuff um, for me anyway. I'm, as I said, I'm forever running out of room in my car and I've always got stuff on my passenger seat and it drives me nuts. Um, having somewhere to be able to put, I guess, my work phone or for those of you who smoke, uh, you can put your cigarettes in there plus a lighter. Um, I still do carry a lighter with me um, just in case. Um, but uh, yeah, so just something really simple. Um, I'll put the link in the description for this one here. I also want to show you guys uh, my genuine, um, what well, it's called, uh, a Nismo fashion lighter uh, kill switch type. Uh, these are extremely rare, and I was very lucky to find one of these. I found it on Facebook Marketplace. Uh, they don't make it anymore. Uh, I know there's some knockoff ones. This is not uh, the one that you would have originally seen in the videos I've done. That was a 3D printed one that I bought on eBay. So this one is genuine. It's a genuine Nissan item. Um, does it do anything? Absolutely not. It just looks cool. But they're extremely rare. So I thought I would show you guys uh, what it looks like. And that's part of the interior upgrade as well too. Uh, there's a Kimi, a uh, little Blossom doll there. Um, so, look, that's that there, but we'll start moving on to some other stuff now. As I said, this video is going to be done over a few days, so um, I'm just trying to fit everything in to make sure I can bring out another video. All right, guys, it's Saturday now. Um, I'm going to attempt to... Um, I'm going to attempt to obviously change the gear surround over... Uh, with the carbon fiber one and also change the gear knob to the Momo one. Um, first things first, we've got to remove the ashtray and you'll see a screw down there. Um, I think, I'm pretty sure I showed you guys how to do this before, but uh, we'll run through it again. So once that screw is removed, um, I'll, which I'll remove now because I'm working with one hand, basically how you open it is you go to the bottom right corner tab. Uh, there's a spot there and you just basically lift up and it pops out. Now, once that's done, it'll feel like it's going to snap, but it won't. And remember, you've got the cigarette lighter and also the steering wheel buttons plugged in as well. So don't rip it out. Um, then once you do that, just basically unplug all of that. And once you unplug all of that, you'll be left with this. So your surround won't be there and everything will be clear. Now, if you remember correctly, we've undone this before on the original one I showed you when I was taking it apart. Um, you've got your plugs there for your cigarette lighter and for your um, steering wheel buttons. What will need to happen now is that you will need to release the tabs here. So you've got one, two, three, four, and one's up the top there as well. So this is good for you guys to get your um, to get your your light bulb out. Now once you once you remove those tabs, it just pops out, basically. Now, fun fact with the R34 Series 2 is that um, it only has one light bulb. And yeah, again, you also need to remove your uh, gear knob as well. So the R34 Series 2 only has one bulb there um, to illuminate the, the gears. Um, this one here, well, this is what I'm going to attempt to tap into because I know this works off of um, when you when you turn the lights on. Um, I can tell you now, 
I didn't end up getting it to work. Um, I've obviously recorded the video and then done the voice after, but I tried for a long, long, long time to try and get it to work. I've I've got some ideas on how to make it happen. I just needed more time today, which I didn't have. Um, uh, so, yeah, basically my car at the moment is off and it's currently in, I think it's drive. Yeah, I'm pretty sure it's in drive at the moment. Um, so just be mindful of that as well. Uh, so this is also a good chance for you to clean up the inside. As you can see, mine is absolutely filthy. Um, and I don't think it's all my, my mess. Uh, but this would be a good chance for you guys to get in there and clean out anything um, to obviously make sure that you have a clean car. Um, so that's done. So I basically just stuck the gear um, surround on. Um, and as I just said before, I wasn't able to get the lights working, um, which is unfortunate, but um, still, it's a work in progress and it was never gonna be completed in one day anyway. This, that's why this is part one. So, um, as you can see, hydro dipped carbon fiber, it looks okay. Uh, could it have been better? Probably, but um, it still looks okay for what it is. Now, the next thing is obviously these lights, um, which I didn't get to work, but we will come back to them eventually, I promise. I just, obviously I'm not gonna waste my whole day on trying to make this work. Um, so pretty much we're just going to reassemble everything now um, and basically do our best to try and uh, make it look good again. Um, so once that's done, I'll show you the finished product. That's with the Momo gear knob on there. Um, it doesn't look too bad. Uh, could have been better, probably. Uh, but at the same token, it still looks better than what it was. Um, so. I'm happy with it. Um, I do. I think it's the best it could have been. No, uh, but however, uh, I will work on that, and I'll make sure I get uh, the rest of the uh, bits and pieces done. I'll even remove the shift lock button there because this isn't the end of this, and I've got to go back in there and try and get these lights to work. Um, I hope this gives you guys some, I guess, idea on how on how to do this uh, and replace the globes for your um, gear illumination. Um, as for me, well, now you know what it looks like with the Momo gear knob and also the um, the carbon fiber hydro dipped bits and pieces. As always, thanks for tuning in and you guys take care.